Hello everyone, welcome to the next part of the video. In the previous part of this video, we have seen the constant current charging of a battery. Now we will see the constant voltage charging of the battery. Now in order to see the response of the battery terminal voltage faster, we need to reduce the capacity of the battery and we have reduced it to 2 million, 2 ampere hour. Alright, and let's see before doing any more changes in this. Let's see how much is the voltage across the terminal of the battery. Alright. So now the battery is charging. We can see the voltage across the terminal of the battery is 64, 65, somewhere around there. Now this much of the voltage can lead to uh, the shorter lifespan of the battery and maybe the failure of the battery system. We need to limit this voltage as we limited the current charging current as well. So the target is to limit the voltage across the terminal of the battery while it is getting charged. First thing first, we need to get rid of this. We need to put this voltage feedback over here. Now the feedback of the voltage is in positive. So we need to change the sign over here. Now the voltage, we want to keep it because it's a 50 uh, volt battery. Then we can limit it to 52. Let's say we want to keep the voltage across the terminal of the battery at 52 volt during the charging process. All right. No need to change anything. We can change here in the PID controller one more thing. Here is the output saturation because uh, the duty cycle uh, ranges from 0 to 1. We can it keep it at uh, maximum of 0.95, minimum of 0. And yeah, no more things is need to be changed. Now let's see. Uh, this is the charging process. Let's see the voltage across the terminal of the battery. Earlier it was 65. Let's see now how much it is while charging. You can see the charging voltage across the terminal of the battery is 52 now. Alright. So you can see too in order to limit this uh, value at 52 you can see here the battery is uh, sometimes it is charging sometimes it is discharging. You can see this if uh, the value of the gate here. It is switching on and switching off. Alright, uh, I think uh, there is one more thing you, I, I wanted to show you. When you keep the volt, nominal voltage at 50, if you go into the discharge, you can see the fully charged voltage is 58. So, I think we should keep it at around 60 for the charging. Now, let's see. Yeah, you can see the battery is getting charged at around 60 volt. And let's say if I want to discharge the battery, now the battery is discharging with a current of 22. You can see the voltage is rapidly going down. Again, I'm going to charge the battery. The voltage is limited, should be limited to 60. We'll wait for some time and we'll see if the voltage is coming back to, if the charging voltage is coming back to the set point. As you can see, the charging voltage across the terminal of the battery is back to 60. But the, maybe the system is not that much responsive, that much fast, but it took around 2 to 3 seconds. I think in the real time when you adjust the value of the PID controllers and uh, the PWM, you'll get a faster response. Now let's stop the simulation and we'll see the result on the graph. First the charging and discharging pattern, here the battery is getting charged, discharged, again charging. Initially the while uh, the battery was getting charged, the current was in negative and you can see the voltage was getting around 60 volts at our set point. So it is trying to follow the set point while charging. Again in this portion the battery is getting charged, you can see the voltage is hitting up to 70 but now it tries to come back to the set point that is 60 over here. Alright, so that's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to explain you how you can combine these two constant current and constant voltage charging for the battery. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Please do subscribe my channel. Stay tuned for more videos.